What's going on, Masbad Party people? Here's another question that can either be really easy or really hard, depending on how much test anxiety that you might have and how quickly you read through this question. So as always, let's go ahead and begin by understanding what the story is trying to tell us to do. That's the question sentence right here. What is the total area of the mural in square inches? Right there. So there's a key word in here that we really want to pay attention to, and that's area. What is the total area? So remember, the moment we see the word area, perimeter, circumference, you know, whatever, any pure math geometry word, we know that there's a formula attached to it. So we see that we're looking for the area of this mural. Okay, cool. So we have to ask ourselves what shape. Immediately ask yourself what shape, and that's gonna be right over here. A local artist is creating a large rectangular mural made up of 450 congruent triangles. Whoa, what? <laughs> That's a lot, right? That is a lot to take in because you see the word rectangular and you see the word triangular. So it can definitely feel a, a, little, a little tough, a little challenging. But let's go ahead and understand the context, understand the story first. So again, we want the total area of the mural. The mural is rectangular, but it's made up of, again, 450 congruent triangles. So the biggest thing here is what the heck does the word congruent mean? Congruent means that they're equal in size and shape. Right there. So you have 450 triangles and that's what equals the mural right there. So the mural, although it is rectangular, like we said, again, it's made up of 450 of these triangles. So if we were kind of just drawing it out like you see there, because you know I'm Picasso essentially, yeah, you have a ton of triangles that make up this rectangular piece and that's what it's gonna be. So the next question is, well, if we know that this mural is made up of 450 triangles that are the same size and shape, well, if we knew the area of just one of those triangles, we could then multiply by 450, right? And yeah, that's exactly what we could end up doing. And that's what we will aim to do. So let's figure out what the area of just one of these triangles is. And this is where the common mistake really happens. So each triangle has a base of eight inches and a height of six. Most people will immediately go crazy and say, oh, cool, I have the numbers, multiply them. Eight times six, that's gonna be 48. Then multiply by 450 and you think you might have your answer. But the problem with that is, my party people, is that there's a different formula for the area of a triangle. You gotta keep calm. I know you read rectangular, but the area that we're calculating is for a triangle. So make sure to comment in this video if this was a mistake that you might have made while you were trying to go through this. And don't forget, remember our Black Friday sale is going on right now. So if you're looking to raise your score with live classes, recordings, thousands of practice problems, practice tests, progress reports, and the ability to communicate with us whenever you need it, we've got everything you need. So use the code BF24, Black Friday 24, so BF24, use that code and save up to 67% on our all access program. That way you can raise your score and get the job you deserve. So let's go ahead and find the area of just one triangle. The area of one triangle again is gonna be half of the base times the height. And we are told that the base is eight inches and the height is six. So let's go ahead and find that. Eight times six divided by two, that's 48 divided by two, which is 24. So the area, again, of one triangle, of one triangle is 24 square inches. But remember that we're trying to find the area of the mural, and that's gonna be 450 triangles. So we need to go ahead now and take the 450, multiply that by the 24, and then we will have our answer. So we'll go ahead and continue here, zero times four, 5 times 4 is 20, 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 2 is 18. Next up, 0 times 2, 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, carry the 1 is 9. Add this all together, and we are going to get 0, 0, 8, 1 plus 9 is 10, and there we are. So the correct answer will be 10,800 square inches, not D, D is the one that you would get if you forgot to divide by two right over here. But the actual correct answer again is B, 10,800 square inches. And there you have it, my party people.
So again, don't forget to like this video and comment if this helped you out or if you made a common mistake that I helped you out with. But as well, again, don't forget our Black Friday sale is live this week only. That way you can save as much money as possible to get that score and job you deserve. Don't let test anxiety hold you back, my party people. Sign up now and raise your score. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Love y'all.